What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in here. I've got a fun little video. Um, I'm, I've got a little field strength meter uh, test today. I'm going to test out a couple antennas. And this is kind of a fun thing to do. And these field strength meters are inexpensive. You just got to try and uh, set up your little experiment um, as, as consistent as you can. So let's see what I got here. I'll show you guys. So on the center screen the main screen there in the back you can see the field stre strength meter it's a surecom um, and you can see down in the middle i've got the little red mark there on the on the button um, that is just above halfway set on the sensitivity and then on the right side you can see over here i've got a little map on the uh the uh, desktop here of uh Norway, Sweden, and Finland. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit from Sweden and say my field strength meter is over there somewhere else in another country, part of the world. And of course, we're exaggerating. It's about four and a half feet from me. <laughs> uh, just having fun here. But I'm going to transmit from Sweden the same direction same position you can see that on the on the uh the video here and the only thing i'm going to do is change out the antennas so this is what i have on here right now is the a little baofeng rubber ducky this is i'm going to use the same radio same power settings it's on high right now high power and so what i'm going to do is transmit on this then i'm just going to swap out a few antennas and we're going to see what result that gives us and then i'm going to do another video separate video and um, we'll do a little head-to-head -head on some radio so that'll be fun too check that one out so we're going to start with the we're going to start with the rubber ducky here on the baofeng uv17 pro gps so here we go we turn it on and Confirm. I'm just going to confirm we are on high power. So we are on high power. It says H there. So there's an H on there. And we are on 146.5000. And I'm going to give my call sign. Oops. Oops. Boy, this thing's a pain. Okay, there we go. We are on high power. See the H up there just above the area, the top area. All right, I've given my call sign. Now we're down here on Sweden, and I'm going to press the PTT, and we'll see what the meter says. Okay, it is about 28 right there. Oh, jumped up 29. Let's do it. Let's call that 29, right? Okay, and we are uh, full charge here too, by the way, on this radio. So that is the rubber ducky antenna. So um, let's see here. <clears throat> let's use the one I run with this all the time. This is the Nagoya 771. And we're just changing the antenna here, not doing anything else. No, same power settings, everything. I'll show you guys that. We're not. So there's H up there, same frequency. We're going to go over here and set the radio right in Sweden. And here we go. Okay, we are about 31, 31 there. So we got, gained about 2%, I guess, on that scale, 2%. So 31. So let's uh, 
change out this uh, antenna. Go from the Nagoya 771 to this T uh, TWA T way radio or these these are I don't, you don't even know how to spend pronounce the name T W A Y R D I O I just think it's abbreviated abbreviated for two way radio it's R H six sixty S and this is a dual band um, wide range receiving coverage antenna so I'll have links in the description for this one too you guys uh, Nagoya for some reason won't let you um, affiliate link a the antennas except for the GMRS ones which is kind of weird but all right so this one is a, a, a telescopic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it down and we're gonna go back to Sweden we're ready to go we're still on high power there and let's see what we get we are at uh, 12 12 right there now let's uh, that was significantly less Wow so let's extend this bad boy out to insane and see what we get let's go back to Sweden we're still on high power holy smokes <laughs> what just happened so uh, about 74 my goodness let's bring it down halfway and see what we get all right that's about halfway I guess we'll do halfway okay uh, let's see what that was again Oop, your hand my hand was okay I gotta do it right okay about uh, 18 there let's just pull the little tip up there a little bit we're up about three quarters way and we have the the very tip extended boy what a difference a little bit can make so we're at uh, about oh boy what was that nothing changed there okay we'll let off okay about 50 almost just under 50 my goodness so big difference holy smokes that's crazy so yeah we did the um, RH660S and um, shall we try the Nagoya 24J that's one of my favorite antennas by the way so we'll see if it's uh, if it makes a difference so this is the Nagoya 24J you can kind of see what that's like there all right we'll go back here to Sweden and uh, here we go oh yeah baby 40 that's why I like these antennas wow man that's pretty good okay so we got 40 there on the 24j all right you guys that's interesting um signal strength and um what rf meters or uh, signal our field strength meters measure is the relation between the transmitter and the the electromagnetic field the this field strength so um, so you're just testing the radio signal uh, to and so you can probably you can even carry these things around your your house and um, and it has a telescopic antenna um, I'll put a link if I if I can down in the description for that one too but you can carry that thing around and find RF in your house it's pretty cool and uh, it's pretty sensitive so you can dial it in kind of uh, you know I had to set it up to where you know pre-test here so I didn't max it out or it actually read you can't have it all the way higher all the way low quite often you know I just have to adjust it but uh, yeah so I guess the winner ultimately would be this uh, RH660S in a pinch I like it it's solid 
um, it's it's made of metal and you know plastic but uh, it extends out this far you guys I mean that's crazy that's pretty crazy so um, I've got two different versions with different SMA male and female and um, I'll try this out when we do I've got one for my Walsh and radios because this takes the uh, the other the end there but I'll do a uh, uh, we'll do a shootout on radios and uh, see if we can't uh, kind of get a, a fun little result there I don't know how scientific it is but uh, it's it's fun to do but uh, I think the second place would be the Nagoya 24J which is why I like these radios or antennas and they're these are like super flexible too they're you know you poke your eye out with them but other than that they're pretty good and then I think the third is the 771 but the problem with these is they're so dang heavy man so similar similar length you know but you got about an inch here on the 24j but this is uh much heavier so all right you guys look for the i'll, I'll try and link it but uh yeah look for the uh radio shootout on the field strength meter and uh hope you guys enjoyed that let me know what you think have a good one appreciate you